Hello friends, family, and fans. I'm Harder D. We are back playing Dark Souls. We're currently in the crypt, or the un the catacombs. And so now we're moving on to some of the most annoying enemies in the entire game. The stupid bone wheel skeletons. They can drain your stamina incredibly, or your HP incredibly fast if they actually get a direct hit on you. As you can see, by me even like trying to get close to them, they're already destroying my s I mean, they're already hitting my uh, stat, uh, HP. Why do I keep messing up with, with uh, stats? There we go. There's one. There's two. Uh, there's going to be a guy coming down there, but first things first, we're just going to try to get rid of as many of, many of these as possible. before he even comes down. Yeah, see, this is the point of having a really good shield, is normally that would eat through your shield, and then just start eating through your health. Like, as if, you know, you're at an all-you-can-eat buffet, and you're all like, I'm gonna eat all of this. Where is he? Oh, maybe I haven't attracted his attention yet. No, he come there he is! See, there's just a nice big guy coming to say hi. What do you got? Oh, there he is. He's got the, um the black great axe or whatever very powerful weapon i myself had it before and it is fantastic like its damage output for a pure strength build is absolutely phenomenal the only thing i'm not a fan of is that it um oh what am i gonna say is that its level up thing means that it doesn't really um it only goes to like level 5 and that's it. Yep. But trust me, it is worth it. Like, if you like a good strength weapon, that's a fantastic weapon. Alright. Alright, there's a guy hanging off a ledge. There's a lot of secrets, just like everything else in Dark Souls 1. There's a lot of secrets where it's like you drop down, and you get free stuff. Uh, that's not currently our prerogative. Pri prior prerogative. Prerogative. There you go. That's not exactly our prerogative at the moment. Our big priority. I just can't say that word right now. Is currently to battle what people. Some people deem like the worst boss. I don't, know, I don't find him too bad. What it, it does suck is you always have to take fall damage there. It sucks because I don't like taking fall damage. I guess he's been crafting all these skeletons. I used to normally craft a skeleton. Yeah, this guy-ish thing. Got three masks. Um, Master the Father, the Mother, and the Child. There we go. So, he clones himself. But what you can do is you just run up and just slash the crap out of him before he even gets a chance to teleport, his clones are going to disappear, and he's already done. <laughs> Bang! Done. Right of kindling. By the right of kindling, you may now kindle beyond the normal limit. What that means is that instead of kindling a bonfire to give you 10 SS last, we can go all the way up to 20. And, ooh, Mask of the Child. I think Mask of the Child's the best one, because it gives you uh, more stamina regeneration. And in this game, stamina and regeneration stacks. So if you really want like very high regeneration, you go with the sword. I mean the um, the shield, the mask, the ring, and you are golden. All right. So now how to get out of here is uh, as you can see, this part is dark as hell. Yep, just very dark. So we're just gonna skip that for now. We can't exactly go that far in that area anyway. So we want to run up here, and as if you notice. This entire battle took place on a tomb, or a uh, sarcophagus. So that, I think that's pretty cool. And then we're going to run back to this way. We're going to take a quick drink. Mm, yum, yum, yum. Mm, tastes like cherry. Da, 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 da. So we're proud of that. And then, boop, we're back down here where the uh, spinny wheel guys are. Except for, as I said, they are defeated and gone. 
Alrighty, so I'm gonna skip until we can get to unlock the, um, the secret blacksmith, so, whoop! Oh yes, and we are back. Um, I forgot that I was gonna show you what's inside this, uh, this hole that we opened up in the wall. First things first, there's a bunch of archer dicks. Just a bunch of them. So, we wanna take down as many as possible. Cause yeah, like I said, there's actually a ring that gets you into a very interesting covenant later on that gives you an amazing um, spell and item. So we're gonna show I'm gonna show you off. We're gonna show off this first. Alrighty, is there anything on that side that I need to worry about? No, it does not look that way. Alright. So down we go. Whee! Perfect. Oh, some look, what is it? Red and white round shield. Oh very nice. Alright, so we're gonna wanna run up here and Oh man, this is gorgeous. Oh there's a huge guy over here. So let's take him down. Yeah, take that. See, what's important is this. Dark Seance Ring. That's actually incredibly beneficial to get the, um, uh, the Dark Moon Covenant, which gives you Dark Moon Blade. And Dark Moon Blade, what it is, is that it, uh, gives you massive, uh, increase to your damage, as well as put, like, I don't know, some type of magic boost on your weapon. But anyways, it's one of the most powerful weapon boosting spells of the game but you can only get it and you can only use it if you're in the covenant if you leave the covenant then you no longer can use that spell oh and see here's the another necromancer that if we didn't have the said amazing sword we would have you know had to deal with all that bull crap ourselves oh okay i think i get it so uh this leads us up but we may not want to go up I mean, we're going to go up anyway, just see what's up here. Alright, oh, this doesn't look too bad. Yeah, it's a dick move. And then Miracle Tranquil Walk of Peace. And then this will bring us back to pretty much the beginning. But, as I said before, I'm not trying to currently get back to the beginning. I'm currently trying to show you how to get the secret blacksmith. Because all the blacksmiths do something interesting in this, and if you want, I believe it's fire on your weapon, then this is the blacksmith that you're going to want to deal with. Alright, so, we're back over here. I'm going to run across. Now, this is the part where it's going to kind of suck, because all of these guys that I've defeated before, they're all back. And, of course, we're going to have to defeat them all again. Looks like I can pretty much one-shot everything. Alright, so we're good. We're good. So we're going to want to go down here. Ow. Rude. Uh-oh. Um. Will you stop slashing your sword so high? No. Yep, we're good. Okay. So. There is, if you look down the hole, there is something that we can land on over there. So we're gonna, whoop, do that, and, oh, that was close. Oh, I'm not gonna lie, that kind of gave me a little mini heart attack. There you go, green titanite shard, and then from here, we want to land, why is it so dark? I think we just want to go this way. There we go, so we would land right above this, and then, boop, we pop on in. Which activates cutscene. Why, hello there, bearded skeleton. Be gone with you. You spoil my focus. And that is the secret blacksmith. Yes, he is undead. And has a cool metal beard. And oh, geez, rude! Get out of here. Uh, one time, I just ran past a bunch of stuff, and I accidentally triggered a rolling guy to come in here, and he literally just went at the bu this guy and then killed him. What's that thing? Need some spinning? Then produce me some wares. Yeah, and from here we can 
from here we can uh, interact with the guy and we can buy stuff, reinforce. What do we have? Um, but yeah, like I said, and I think he specializes in fire weapons. Ooh, excuse me. And now we're back all the way at the bottom. So that's uh, pretty much what we got to see in the wherever this place is, um, the catacombs. We're going to uh, cut the episode a little bit short because we're just going to be heading back up now to Sen's Castle or Sen's Fortress. So anyways, I'll be um, continuing this on next time, so make sure to follow me and uh, make sure to hit that subscribe and leave a like in the video. Until then, you guys have a great evening. Bye-bye! Alright, real quick snippet, guys. I just wanted to include this at the end of the episode. Um, so we're here. There's the bonfire. Here's the bridge. I would introduce you to a really great weapon. We need to get down there. Easiest way to do it is because this is actually an amazing weapon for any dex build it's an amazing weapon so what you want to do is you want to go on these stairs be very careful not to like fall off and die and then we're just going to gently launch yourself here and then boop, the great scythe the great scythe has amazing stats for dexterity it has bleed it has high damage it is a um a foul i mean a uh pole arm so it does carry those but it's an amazing weapon, and especially one handling it, you can actually uh, have quite a bit of reach. But anyways, I just want to share that with you real quick. So, um, now I'm done. So, bye-bye!